Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. I'm not a gambler, but I bet a lot of pizza bagels that you've taken the most widely used psychoactive substance in the world, caffeine. Wanna guess how many cups I've had today? Too slow, it was eight. Over 90% of adults living in the US use caffeine regularly, consuming around 200 milligrams each day. The FDA says it's safe to have up to 400 milligrams a day, but what happens after that? Caffeine is found in a variety of foods and drinks, and even some medicines. The amount of caffeine in each varies by product. For instance, eight ounces of hot chocolate has about seven milligrams, while some cough medicines have 25 milligrams. For a coffee, the range is generally between 10 and 20 milligrams per ounce, so a typical 12 ounce cup of coffee could have as much as 247 milligrams of caffeine. Woo! But there are some products with loads more, and consuming these could be really dangerous. I'd never do that. I'm not addicted. I don't have a problem. <laughs> caffeine stimulates the brain, specifically the central nervous system. This is the part responsible for receiving, processing, and responding to sensory information. Caffeine makes you feel more awake and alert. It can also improve your mood, memory, and physical endurance. I can do anything. I have the energy of a lightning god. Some exploratory research has also found that drinking a modest amount of coffee below the 400 milligram threshold can lower the risk of certain illnesses and medical conditions such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, cryosis of the liver, kidney stones, certain cancers, and stroke. So caffeine clearly has a wide impact on the body well beyond jumpstarting your brain. It also stimulates the release of the hormones noradrenaline and norepinephrine. These cause your heart to beat faster and faster and faster and faster and increase your blood pressure. For your average healthy person, this isn't much of a problem as long as you stay below the recommended amount. For some, like those with heart-related medical conditions, even moderate amounts of caffeine could be dangerous. But consuming high amounts above 400 milligrams can be dangerous for anyone. When you start consuming too much caffeine, you may get an upset stomach, a headache, or feel nervous or jittery. But that's nothing compared to an overdose. An overdose of caffeine can cause rapid or irregular heartbeat and breathing trouble, potentially resulting in death. This rarely happens from drinking coffee. Most people who overdose on caffeine are using caffeine pills or powders. These products contain much higher levels of caffeine and are referred to as pure or highly concentrated caffeine products. Bad, very dangerous. Triangle Bob tried these and look at him, he's vibrating into the sixth dimension. Seriously though, very dangerous. These high concentrations make the difference between a safe amount and a toxic amount incredibly small. The FDA warns that safe quantities of these products can be difficult or nearly impossible to measure accurately with common kitchen measuring tools. That's because even small amounts of these products contain a lot of caffeine. For instance, one teaspoon spoon of pure powdered caffeine is equal to about 28 cups of coffee. But the FDA estimates that less than a half a teaspoon, which equals 1,200 milligrams, is enough to cause toxic effects like seizures. And I crashed. Oh, my head. I think I'll just stick with gorging on pizza bagels. So, um, how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Do you think you're addicted? Be honest. Let me hear it in the comment section below. Click here to watch this video on something. I don't know. And, um, click here for something else. And as always, my name is Blocko. This has been Live Noggin, and don't forget it. Mm -hmm. Pizza bagels. Mm -hmm.